Get ready for a journey of a lifetime because we're headed north to Akita Prefecture, which is right below Hokkaido. And this place has massive snowfall and it is one of the most beautiful areas in the region. And we're going to show you why. Right now we're on the edge of Lake Tazawako at Gozanoishi Shrine and this is just spectacular. It's this massive red torii gate and it's covered in snow and it's absolutely breathtaking. It's straight out of a postcard. We've just been taking beautiful photos this whole time. I'm honestly lost for words because it's just... I think we came in the perfect conditions too. There's no one else here. We've got this for ourselves. Yeah. Where are all the others? And this shrine behind us is actually dedicated to a Tatsuko. legend. Yeah. yeah. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful girl named Tatsuko Hime. And on her quest to, I guess, obtain eternal beauty, she <laughs> prayed a bunch. She was transformed into a dragon <laughs> and uh, became the Lord of the Lake. And now people come here in search of beauty. Exactly. So we should uh, pray for some good looks. Pray. Yeah, <laughs> it's quite chilly though. Uh, our hands are going quite pink, so <sighs> just admire this once in a lifetime opportunity because how often do you get to see it in the perfect conditions? Um, unreal. This yeah, unreal. but you guys have to come out here to experience this because it's, it's absolutely... Oh yeah, it's absolutely worth it. From Gozano Ishi Shrine, we'll take an hour car ride north to our next location in the area of Mount Moriyoshi. We've planned to enjoy a train trip from Anihai Station close to the Mount Moriyoshi area, which is easily accessible from Ani Ski Resort, which we visited in our previous ski video. Driving in Akita is one of the best ways to get around, but if you've come for the spectacular views, then we highly recommend checking out the trains too. We're about to take a train journey across Akita Prefecture with the Akita Naidiku Line and I am so excited because we're going to see some magical winter scenery. Yeah, this is nice. The snow is coming down and I've never taken a train like this before. No. This is going to be amazing. And we're starting at Anii Station which is basically right in the center and uh, oh, we've only got a couple minutes till our oh, train yeah, leaves we so go. we better go. They don't come too frequently out here. All right, we're just buying our tickets here. I think it's 2,000 yen each. You can tell just how old it is, like check it out, it's been here quite a while. It looks like somebody like actually wrote it in. Yeah, this is so awesome. I love trains so I can't believe we get to take such a rustic old fashioned style one. Where is it by the way? I don't know. Is that it in the distance? That might be it, yeah. That little purple one. It's coming. Check out the view. It is literally what you'd call a winter wonderland. It is blanketed in snow and there's so much unspoiled countryside scenery that we're going past here. Yeah, and the snow is still coming down. Look at this the river. river. <gasps> that Whoa. is so sick. You really have to keep your eyes like peeled because things go by so fast, but we've got these massive windows. So we got a really good, clear view of everything. And it is pretty different being on a one month, just a one cart train. Yeah. Like it's so different from your your daily life in uh, It's not like the JR yeah, in Tokyo. Yeah, it's not like the JR in Tokyo, nothing <laughs> there's, like there's it. There's only a couple of other people on board. But we haven't mentioned all the dogs everywhere. Yeah, they're so cute. So this is the Akita Inu, which is a local dog that originated in Akita Prefecture. And they, they're they, so adorable. Yeah, they kind of look like Shiba Inus, but they're not exactly. Shiba Inus. They're totally different. They're super and, proud of it as well, because you'll see it everywhere, like posters and merchandise right. of the Akita Inu. And even if you look at the chairs, oh, yeah. even the design of the chairs, is this like little dog pattern. <laughs> yeah, it makes it actually really fun and visually like appealing to sit here. Yeah. Of course we have this, but we also have the Akita Inu. <laughs> uh, one other cool thing that I found out is that it only stops at three locations with staff. The rest are all unmanned. 
How insane is that? Yeah, you can see right here, Takanosu, Aniai, and Kakunodate. And if you're wanting to take this train, I recommend hopping on from Kakunodate because that is a really cool samurai district mm. and that's probably a good starting point. Yeah. And you were saying earlier, uh, in every season, this would look really different, right? Yeah, See, exactly. I'm not, I'm not used to that in Hawaii, <laughs> we don't have seasons, but that means you can come four times a year. I think we have to now. Yeah. I'll see you back here in uh, Sakura season. That's the next one. Sounds like a plan. So yeah, right now it's all white, but it's going to be Sakura, green in the summer, and then autumn leaves in Sick. the autumn. But I, I feel like I just need to take it in because yeah. it's just... So magical. I knew nothing about Akita before this, but I'm already thinking about coming back. <laughs> I'm telling my friends. Come up to the very front of the train to get a new perspective. Yeah, I feel like I'm just flying through the trees. This is unreal. I love the fresh tracks in the snow here from the train. Uh, yeah, from the previous yeah. trains. Wow. And we've got the train driver right here. He's concentrating very hard, so we don't want to distract him because we don't want to derail. Yeah, yeah, he, he is locked in right now. But imagine doing this every day for work and it's, having this Seems like a fun job, very yeah. chill job. I might have to add it to my list of Potential. retirement <laughs> plans. It's either that or gardening. We're about to pull into our first stop along the Nairiku line and here we are. Hitachi Nai and there is literally no one here and this is an unmanned spot so pretty quiet i'm gonna hop off for a quick second hopefully i don't miss the train Woohoo! wow the Nairiku line stretches on for kilometers of beautiful white scenery. We actually loved riding the train so much that after we got off at Matsuba Station and took a look at the local scenery, we hopped right back onto the next train heading back in the same direction we came from, taking us back to Aniai Station. From there, we hopped back into the car to continue driving. With all this snow, you're probably thinking that Akita would be a great place to go skiing, and so do we. On this very same trip, we also made a guide to skiing in Japan, so be sure to go check that out too. But this video is all about the beauty of nature, so let's skip the action sports and soak our weary bones in one of Akita's most famous onsen. We're right outside Tayanoyu, which is an onsen here in Akita to experience some local hot spring culture. Yeah, and after a long day of skiing or snowboarding, this is the perfect thing to do. My body aches. Yeah, me too. My muscles are like, ah, so much pain. I fell down so many yeah, times. Yeah, you, you sacked a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and this is actually like an outdoor onsen, so we'll get to hear the sounds of nature. There's a waterfall over there. And it's actually part of seven onsens in the area called the Nuto Onsen Kyo. So this is really cool to be here and experience it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go for a dip. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reservation needed to take a bath here, and they have a great selection of different baths to choose from. All right, so before we head into the onsen bath, you're gonna come across one of these changing rooms, and this is where you can uh, get naked before heading in. They also have this area where you can shave, dry your hair, they got a massage chair, and they also have this kind of lounge area. Nice tatami. But yeah, I'll pick one of these lockers for now. Welcome to the outdoor onsen. Isn't it marvelous? We've got snowflakes coming down. I have a view of a waterfall. And there's also the Sendatsu River flowing. <laughs> what, Kai? <Kari? laughs> Don't worry, this is the mixed gender bath. <laughs> They do have private men's and private women's, ah. but this is the main view of the waterfall. Yes, yeah, so you had to come. I had I to come. I couldn't hog it to myself. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely breathtaking. Yeah, honestly unforgettable. I've never been in an onsen like this before. Yeah, me either. Especially when you've got the snow coming down. Yeah. It's so magical. This is what you have to do when you come to Akita in winter. Oh. So nice. Especially after a long day of snowboarding, skiing. Yeah. My body is rejuvenated. It is, it really is. And you might be wondering why it's this like brown orange colored water. Well, hot spring water. Yeah. It's because it's called Kinoyu and it's especially for the Nuto Onsenkyo. 
Nice. Yeah, and so there's different kinds of minerals that help us rejuvenate our muscles. It's kind of salty. It got really windy all of a sudden. All right, so we got on these kasa, these Yuki-friendly hats. Yeah. And they're doing a great job at protecting us from the snow falling. They really are, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I add a nice touch. It feels very like we step back in time. Yeah, this feels very authentic. Akita underrated, for sure. Yeah, and <laughs> it's really like interesting how, like they're kind of heavy, but they, yeah. they do a good job at like, Keeping my head nice and dry. I feel cool wearing it. Are you worthy time. of the, the kasa? <laughs> yeah. Back in the day, 350 years ago, the Akita lords of the area, after they battled, would come into the onsen and soothe their muscles. Wow, sick. That's kind of like what we're doing today. Yeah, except we're battling the ski fields. <laughs> <laughs> Not as epic, but... Just as epic. Oh, wait, stay there a second. Oh. You gonna throw us? Hey, where's Let's Sarah? See how it works. Nice. <laughs> that works really well. Yeah. The, the lords were pretty smart back then. Yeah, That's why it. they were winning all the, you know, wars. With our bodies and minds revitalized, it's time to go take care of our stomachs. As well as its unrivaled onsen, Paya no Yu also has a fantastic restaurant you, you can dine at You gotta enjoy the local bar. delicacy here while we're in Akita, and this is Inaniwa noodles, which are a type of udon, but they're a lot thinner. Yeah, it looks like udon, but I can tell the noodles are a lot thinner, and yours are even thinner yeah. than mine. <laughs> yeah, and we've got two different types. So this is like a chicken one, which is a specialty one they've just added on their menu, mm. and you have the classic, I believe. Yeah, I do. Should we dig in? Because you don't want to leave noodles in hot broth for too long. I know, let's eat it while they're hot. Takimasu. Takimasu. Mine comes with a bit of kombu and sudachi. Yeah. So I'm going to sprinkle some in. I All love right. sudachi. That's one of my favorite Japanese. Um, a little bit of, a little bit of kombu. I will visit. That's probably the only Japanese lime, but it's a good one. Okay. <laughs> Takimasu. So heartwarming. That warms my insides. Yes. It's so cold. It's zero degrees outside. So having this hot bowl of like noodles and soup brings me back to life. <laughs> mm. And I actually have some shichimi that I can add inside. And it's not normal shichimi. It's like this black version of it. So let's go. Forgot what this is. Oh, oh, it's what's yuzu. Oh, yuzu. <gasps> Let's I love go. yuzu. It's fun how you can customize dishes like as you go. Um, ah. Yeah, it's good. Oh, God. <laughs> totally different. With the yuzu? Yeah. Oh. If you're wondering where we're dining, we're still inside the Taim no Yu um, building and yeah. they've got like a restaurant right next to the onsen. So once you've you know, had your relaxing time in the bath, you just come out and enjoy an amazing meal with views out the window. I love that they went for these really big open windows so you can really take yeah, in the that's scenery. incredible. And we've also got onigiri. Oh, it's still warm. It's got little black seeds on the top. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Kombu. Good eye. Something about plain onigiri just tastes so good. <laughs> Mm. <sighs> it was so in sync. Yeah, it was really in sync. <laughs> oh, I have an atsuage in here. So atsuage is basically like this um, tofu and it's deep fried lightly. There's also hidden surprises in here. Mm. Mm. It absorbed all the flavor of that broth. Delicious. And I've also got a lot of veggies in here. I've got some spring onion. I have some nameko, which is actually a salami type of mushroom they have here. Mm. Mm. I've got actually a whole bunch of these <laughs> nameko inside here. At the end of our meal, we've got a little coffee. Yeah, this is so nice. Actually, just what I wanted. I missed my morning coffee this morning. <laughs> this is my second coffee today. <laughs> <laughs> but perfect. Cheers. Perfect.
I heard they grind the beans here themselves. Oh, they do? Yeah. Um, so if you come here, get an Inaniwa udon set with coffee. But we'll see you guys at our next location. After lunch, it's time to learn a little more about the local culture and something that really set Akita apart from the rest of Japan. We've now just arrived at the Namahage Museum and we're here to learn about the Namahage culture. Exactly, and this actually started right here in Akita Prefecture and I believe it was a ritual that was performed in some villages and I don't know much about it. I don't know anything about it. We're kind of going into this blind, <laughs> but whatever we find out, we'll share with you guys. All right, let's head inside. Ah, don't worry guys, it's just us. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, did we surprise you? Were we good? <laughs> we uh, just watched a whole video learning about the Namahage though. Yeah, it was a bit traumatic, but you know, it seemed pretty essential to Japanese culture here in Akita Prefecture. In the Oga area specifically. Yeah. Um, essentially, they'll dress up on New Year's Eve and uh, come into the houses of uh, families and terrify children and try to take them away. Yeah, and they would check to see if they're crying or lazy. And those are the requirements for being taken away. It was and, uh, quite scary, but very informative <laughs> video. <laughs> but if you made it through the night um, with no heart attacks, you got some mochi. Worth it, worth in my it. opinion. I mean, you're a mochi Absolutely lover. Absolutely worth it. If I could compare it to anything in like American tradition, it kind of reminds me of Christmas. If the families that you're do naughty, the Grinch. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Uh, the Grinch comes to your house, takes your presents if you've been bad. Oh. So it kind of reminded me of that. But you were saying how it reminded you of... Like just bad Santa, good Santa. You or know? Monsters been, Inc. Yeah. a little bit. Oh, Monsters Inc. Yeah. Monsters Inc. Yeah, think of Monsters Inc. Same concept. Rah! Namahage is a word that most Japanese people are familiar with, but many that were raised in other parts of the country don't know much about it. That's why the Namahage Museum feels so unique and is something you can really only experience in Akita. Exploring all the exhibitions was super interesting and the variety of items they have on display here was really quite impressive. This is crazy, they got a whole army here. Wow, this is like my worst nightmare. And Waking they up got at night. more on this Whoa, side Whoa, we're cornered. This is insane. Ah! This is like when every Power Ranger united. So essentially, we've just found out that there are tons of different Namahage here and they've all got different face masks. Yeah, different designs based on different regions. Exactly, and even the things that they're holding depend on that too. But they're all under the same category of Namahage. namahage. Fascinating. Which mask is your favorite, Kai? Hmm, I need to find the one that looks like you. This one has a little bit of like Sesame Street vibes. Oh yeah, yeah. that one kind of looks like a Muppet. Yeah. <laughs> that one's probably the most friendly one here. Yeah, th some of them look very intimidating, where others I'm like, I could probably deal with it. If that one came into my house, I might laugh instead of cry. Yeah. This one, there's a lot going on. The, this one's even got teeth. Seeing the mask standing still is one thing, but how about seeing them in action? The most popular activity here at the museum is the Namahage performance. You'll enter a traditional Akita house and be rudely interrupted by some grumpy Namahage on the lookout for lazy children. The Namahage are angry and they have heard there are some lazy children hiding in this house and have to come take them away if they don't change their ways. Traditionally, it is the elder or head of the house that will greet the Namahage and bargain with them. 
They bring a list of all the bad deeds committed by children throughout the year. Thankfully though, they can be easily appeased with the offering of hot sake. <laughs> so we're going to make headbands, which is what we learned in the yeah. video. Because we survived one year of Namahage rituals. When Namahage visits, stray strands of straw will come off their clothes and be left on the floor. Children are encouraged to pick up the strands and make headbands, which will bring them my good luck in the next year. All that studying, but yeah, sure, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really cool experience. Yeah, I wasn't scared at all. I yeah. yeah, I totally wasn't I, scared. I screamed a few times every time they opened <laughs> the shoji doors. It was like bang. <laughs> That was fun. Yeah. And I was so impressed by the level of dialogue. And that the was, acting. That was a yeah. movie scene. I wonder how they rehearsed it. They're, they're real. They're doing it every, every yeah. winter. But uh, yeah, it was impressive. Yeah. The, the quality is high here. Yeah. And I even had the local dialect. Like it was hard to follow some of the Japanese. Mm. But now all I'm thinking is I want some of that sake. I was pretty jealous when they yeah. got mochi. Yeah. But I think I know a place that sells and serves sake. So should we... Yeah. Pack up and head there. That sounds like a good idea. Pretty hungry too. <sighs> Roll that. Take our souvenir. The perfect way to recover from that trauma is with a nice cup of warm craft sake from Akita's trendiest brewery and bar. But it looks like we can never escape those namahage though. We're outside Ineto Agave for a little bit of sake and dine. Yeah, who doesn't love a little day drinking? I sure do. <laughs> And apparently this place was built by renovating the former J.R. Oga station. Oh, really? Yeah. Very cool. Cool. Should we Shall check we it out? It? Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of cold. I need to warm up with some sake. Ineto Agave opened in 2021 and is on a mission to turn Oga into a modern sake city. The brewery here produces different varieties of classic sake known as Nihonshu and also more experimental variations, adding agave syrup into the fermentation process. We've just ordered a nomi kurabe seto, which is essentially a tasting of three different sakes from, of our choice. Yeah, and we picked pretty different selections. We've got the original, Ineto Agave. Yes. And what's this one? Coffee. It's like a nigori coffee sake. And then on the right we have Boudon. I'm kind of expecting this one to kind of taste like wine, but I'm like not too sure. No idea, but yeah. this place specializes in like not just sake, but craft sake. So it's a little different from your usual ones. So shall we come by? Yeah, let's do it. Give it a smell. Here. Oh, <laughs> smells like sake. Yeah, that's definitely sake. Come by. Come by. Ooh. Whoa. Completely different. That has way more flavor than I was expecting. Definitely has a sweeter tone to it compared to yeah. your average sake. Yeah, very sweet. And I think that's because they use one special ingredient here that you won't find at other sake breweries. Which is? It's actually agave, like ah. syrup. And it's like a type of tequila that they're putting in the process. So it definitely adds a, another layer of depth to that sake flavor. But I don't want to get to this one. Okay, yeah. I'm excited for this one. It even kind of looks just like, it looks like coffee. Ooh, that smells like coffee too. Mm. All right. All right, here we go. Come by. Come by. Whoa. Wow. It's Wait, what? Yeah, well, <laughs> I, need, I need to take another. It's as if you've got an alcoholic coffee. That's the best way I could describe it. Yeah, and it's it's almost a little spicy, it is. you know? Like a little spicy. You can literally see the rice inside here. Can you see those little like yeah, is that the koji? I think that's the koji inside. That's the koji. Oh, the koji mochi. 
Mm. Fascinating. I've never had quite a flavor before. Yeah, this makes day drinking acceptable. Yeah, I know. I'm like, do I coffee. replace my morning coffee <laughs> with a morning sake coffee? Mm. But one more. Okay. One more, one more. The wine one. Number well, three. Boodle. Grapes. Cheers. Yeah, it is kind of similar to like white wine. Yeah. And it is different, totally different than the first one. Every single sake has such a distinct flavor to it. I think I'm being drunk. <laughs> yeah, this is still lunchtime. We haven't had our meal yet. Interesting. Ooh, there's actually a bunch of other sake you can try here. One, when we come next time, is the ramen sake. It was right. like one that suits the flavors of ramen and the broth. And there's actually a ramen shop just across the street. I think they're working together now. Yeah, so this okay. brewery actually works with that ramen place. But the crazy thing is, they actually collaborated with Ippudo, which is a oh. really big ramen group here in Japan. Damn, okay. Yeah, so I was, I was just shocked because it, it just looks like a whole normal ramen place, but who yeah, knew? Yeah, maybe we should get ramen I, for I lunch. I think I want to. And then come back and then get <laughs> yeah. the ramen uh, sake. Yeah. But I think it's time for some dessert. Yeah, we should get that ice cream. Mm. So you must have... We bring you this quick ramen break because we snuck into the amazing ramen shop across the street, which is run by the same people, but a collab with Ippudol. This is going to be so good. <gasps> so you've got the shio. I've got the shio. And I have the shoyu. And it looks like top class ramen for only 900 yen or so. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I'm speechless. I, I just really want to eat. <laughs> Let's take them for the noodles, yeah. like, you know. Okay expand but we also have toppings look at this oh itadakimasu itadakimasu oh. nice slurp man get did you guys hear that slurp like a true japanese guy i'm so glad we got yeah. it <laughs> <laughs> You need to come to Akita just to try this. This is some out of this world ramen. Ooh. The broth and the, the texture of the noodles. How good is that? So especially after a couple of those um, agave sake. sake drinks, this is hitting pretty hard. Mm. Um, also, winter is not complete without a hot bowl of ramen. Am I right? You're absolutely correct. Uh. Quick, uh, quick chashu dip. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, this is next level. Look how tender it looks. Whoa. It's not your normal, like, thick chashu. It's like, this is just gonna melt in your mouth. You got it all over your face. Oh. <laughs> That's the real joys. Mm. Uh, and apparently on a busy day, they have over a hundred people coming here and people are waiting out there. So, no, really? Yep, Damn. I was talking to the owner. Damn. And this is a really special place because they've collaborated with Ippudo to bring you some high grade ramen that utilizes the local ingredients here in Oga. So mm. it is a must add to your winter or even summer bucket list here in Akita. Yeah, I would definitely. Yeah. I like that they're working together because as soon as we were there, Just I come felt over like here. coming here, yeah. yeah. But we gotta get back to our sake tasting, so. Back to the sake. What good is day drinking if you don't follow it up with a little dessert? Next up, we'll be tasting their sweet amazake and original soft cream. Ah, arigatou 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 arigatou. Arigatou. Oh, it's so warm. Oh yeah, Whoa, it's steaming. It's steaming, and it looks so like frothy, like milk almost. That has an interesting smell. Have you never had amazake? Not like this. <laughs> no, I'm actually so excited because I've never had amazake at a proper like sake store. It's always like the canned ones or a cheap one. Yeah, I don't think I've had hot amazake either. Oh, Yeah. just the cold one? Mm hmm I heard it was actually traditionally a summer drink. Yeah. yeah. All right, I want to dig into this ice cream before it melts. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's got like crumbed cookies or something on the side. Oh, give me some of that. Give and this that. is like, inside is the koji. All right, itadakimasu. Um, itadakimasu. Wow. Is that honey? That is so creamy. I think it is honey. It tastes like honey ice cream. Yeah, it's Was there like really sake in it? Honey crumbled. No, but it's not even just the crumble, it's like 
the ice cream itself feels like there's honey just drizzled all over it. That's really good. I was expecting it to taste more like koji, but like... I love this. Can we, um... Can we just take some of this home? <laughs> they also have this in a waffle cone, which I think would be perfect. All right, that was awesome. So I can't wait to try this. I have... That was really hot. <laughs> yeah, after having cold ice cream, yeah. it's actually <laughs> not the best idea. But that did hit the spot. Our time here in Akita has been so delightful. I cannot wait to come back here and recommend it to all my friends. Yeah, it's been wonderful. Before coming here, I knew nothing about Akita, but it's been such a pleasant trip. Like, I can't believe I underestimated Akita so much. Yeah. Add it to your Japan bucket list. And if you haven't checked out our other video where we went skiing and snowboarding, be sure to click the link here and we'll see you in another TC video. Like, subscribe, and comment down below what your favorite spot was and we'll see you again. Yeah, see you guys again. Bye bye. Bye. やな、みんなさ、いつ年間、いがみをくすないようでな。元気で。ああ、もう元気よ。ありがとう。はい、オッケー。はい、バイバイ。ああ。おまけ。エブリタイム。